picked up. McGrath charging in. It's gone for it, and that's a very good pull shot. You don't see McGrath pull too often, and that's going to go all the way. Up the hill against the breeze. Four boundaries for Italy Jacobs. Out, yes, well bowled. Threw it up, went the big drive, and that's a big breakthrough by McGill. One for 50, it's six for nine to seven. It's good bowling. Ah! He's bowling. Nixon McQueen uh, couldn't resist the challenge. The ball was up in the air. And uh, Stuart McGill has got his second victim. Gillespie now. Gone, yes, just before T. Hayden takes the catch. Gillespie gets a wicket. It's eight for 172. They did all the hard work. And just before the tea break, Dylan goes. That's very sad from the West Indian point of view, but very good for Gillespie and the Australians. Chance of third slip, Matthew Hayden. Just like catching practice. It's gone in the air. And it's cleared third man. So maybe he's destined to get 100 here, the way things have been going. He's gone, has he? Yes, he has. Questy gets three. Jacobs remains not out. 96. The West Indians bowled out for 196 after being sent in by Stephen Wall. Now listen to the crowd. Drives the feet for a great innings from Ridley Jacobs. Yes, two magnificent efforts, really. The hat trick by McGrath. Good comeback match for. West with this man on screen, come to the screen at 5 for 22. They were down and out after 51 minutes. Showed tremendous courage and determination. Played some glorious shots down the ground. He gets a standing ovation from this very good crowd here at the Wacker. But once again, a very good performance by the Australian bowlers. Despite drop catches, it's a pretty good effort to bowl a side out on a good pitch for 196.